Aim Fire. What's going on guys, my name is Martin Shireheart, and in this video I'll be telling you what came out in the 1.0.2 patch in Destiny. And this is mostly a Cryptarch patch, which is, in my opinion, is a good thing. So I have all these engrams in my vault, pretty much basically for the Cryptarch, and let's begin. For now, legendary engrams will always produce a legendary quality or a higher. So that means if you hand in a legendary engram, you ain't gonna get a you ain't gonna get a rare item. You're going to get a legendary or a higher. And um, rare engrams will always produce a rare quality item or a higher. So this will also give you no chance of getting uncommon armor. And there's also a increase on a chance on getting legendary armor. And Materials that are ascendant shards and ascendant energy are promoted to legendary quality. So, if you have a legendary engram, you have a possibility of getting those two. And if you have a rare engram, you have a possibility of getting strange coins and motes of light. And if you pretty much have a couple sets of like legendary armor waiting, uh, they're gonna switch to uh, rare engrams before. If you had them before the update and you have a bunch of legendary engrams, they're going to switch to rare after the update. So, yeah, that's not good if you had some. They also fixed some rewards in the Vanguard Tiger Strike Playlist, Daily Heroic Missions, and Weekly Heroic Missions. You will get rare and legendary engram drops added to the potential rewards for these on your first time beating them. So... If you beat the daily heroic mission only once, you will get that. And a weekly heroic mission, if you beat it first the, per week, you get an engram as well. In the Crucible, they fixed some updates on the two big maps, First Light and the one mission on Mars. And what they did is they bring the time limit down to 12 minutes instead of 15 minutes, which is good. And they also lowered the possibility of getting that map in the playlist. Those two maps. So that's really good because I really was not a big fan of those maps. But then again, if you need sniper headshot kills, it's going to have to be a little trouble to get. So that's pretty much it for the update, guys. That was, In my opinion, it was a good update. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. Comment down if you have a video idea. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.